With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, on dialing certain telephone numbers, assume that on an average one telephone number out of five is busy, 10 telephone numbers are randomly selected and dial, find the probability that at least three of them will be busy. So let's start. So we can say, P, we have the probability of busy and we know that it will be equals to we have 1 by 5 because we have telephone number out of 5 is busy. So now for a probability of being busy we have equals to 1 by 5. So now if we write the probability of not busy, probability of we can say this will be our q. q is the probability of not busy then we know that it will be equals to 1 minus 1 by 5 that will be equals to 4 by 5 that will be equals to 4 by 5 and we know that we have 10 tiny phone numbers are randomly selected so we can say and we have 10 so now we can say our therefore our required required probability probability what is the probability we have to at least three of them will be busy so we can write at least three of them are busy then we can say that it will be equals to one minus 10 c 0 by binomial expansion we can write our 1 by 5 we know that we have 10 minus 0 we have that we have 0 and now we have 4 by 5 that we have raised to power 10 because we have 10 minus c is 0 now we can write plus 10 c1 here we get 1 by 5 whole raised to power we have 1 and we have 4 by 5 4 by 5 whole raised to power 10 minus 1 we have 9 but how we can write this? We can write this because we know that the expansion of a plus b whole raised to power n it will be equals to n c 0 a raised to power n minus 0 a raised to power 0 and we have b raised to power n minus 0. Similarly we can also write plus we have n c 1 a raised to power 1 b raised to power n minus 1. Similarly that's on it will be going on. So by using this expansion we can write our probability of at least 3 of them are busy. In, by using the binomial expansion plus we have also 10 c2 so we have 1 by 5 whole raised to power 2 multiply with the we have 4 by 5 whole raised to power 8 and then we can say after solving this we can say it will be equals to 1 minus 1 into we know that the value of 10 c0 is equal to 1 how because we know that n c r it will be equals to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial this will be our formula of combination by solving the 10 c 0 by this formula we get 1 into 1 then we have 4 by 5 we know that 1 by 5 whole raised to power 0 we have 1 only here we get 4 by 5 whole raised to power 10 plus we have 10 into 1 by 5 into 4 by 5 whole raised to power 9 plus we have 45 into 1 by 5 whole raised to power 2 we have 4 by 5 whole raised to power 8 and now after solving this we get 1 minus 4 by 5 whole raised to power 8 we have it will be multiplied with we have 16 by 5 plus 8 by 5 plus 9 by 5 it gives us 1 minus 4 by 5 we have whole raised to power 8 and then now by taking the LCM of this we have it will be equals to 25 we have 16 plus 40 plus 45 so now from here we can write after solving this we have 1 we know that after solving the square of 4 by 5 raised to power 8 we get 0 0.1678 and that will be multiplied with we know that 45 plus 40 plus 16 it will be equals to have 100 
1 divided by 25 by solving this it also give us we have it will be equals to 1 minus 0 0.1678 multiply with 4.04 finally it will be equals to we have 1 that 1 minus 0 0.68 and that finally give us 0 0.32 we can say this will be our required probability and our final answer of this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today